morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Rusty with the Masters Lawn and Pest with another quick tip for North Florida lawn and landscapes. If you've got questions about your irrigation, your lawn and landscape, we want to be who you come to in North Florida. So we're going to do a quick tip today. Uh, a lot of the areas we work in, Alachua County, St. John's County, Duval County, put on water restrictions when we get dry like we are right now. Now videos are kind of always on and so this is being recorded. It's important to give you kind of timeline to reference. This is being recorded in early June and we are in the uh, midst, hopefully coming toward the end of an extreme dry spell. And in Alachua County, we're reduced um, or we are structured to have only two days of watering per week. And some of the other counties are discussing also uh, similar water restrictions uh, due to the lack of rainfall. So we want to be smart with this. We want to make sure that we're managing, we're following rules, but also keeping our lawn and landscapes protected. The last thing we want to do is invest lots of money in our turf, in our plants, and have them struggle and or die. So uh, this is a video to help get uh, through those watering restrictions and keep your lawn and landscape looking healthy. So as you can see, for the most part, up here around the house, We've got decent turf color, but as we get out here in the full sun, especially by the driveway, we've really got a lot of drought stress coming on. Um, this isn't a lack of fertilization. This isn't, uh, the whole yard's been fertilized with the same program. This isn't a lack of uh, insect prevention. This has nothing to do with insects. It could resemble a little bit of chinch bug damage because it's coming in off the the driveway, but this has actually already been tested for chinch bugs. We've looked, inspected. This is just pure drought stress. There's two things going on here. One is we're only allowed to water two days a week and extremely dry. Two days a week is what we call supplemental watering. But when you actually get into the needs of a lawn, two days a week, it's hard in these drought conditions with as quick as it's evaporating and as dry as the soil is, it's hard for two days a week to effectively keep your lawn healthy. So we're going to talk about some ways to stay within the guidelines, but also keep your yard looking green. Once again, we typically recommend uh, Hunter Hydrowise. So you're seeing here what a app looks like uh, for the Hunter Hydrowise system. You can see that this is the watering schedule labeling all the zones. You can see here we've got north front sprays, south front sprays, front rotors, driveway rotors, back rotors, back spray zone, uh, and a drip zone in the back, and the zone, zone 8 is unused and unnamed. Um, lots of info here, but I won't, I won't nerd out on all the type of info. You can see I was mentioning the dry spell. It's 95 degrees and rainfall in the last day was 0.0, .0 and rainfall in the last week was 0.1 inch and I did not see that 0.1 inch. So um, kind of questionable whether I actually believe that. Maybe somewhere in Gainesville got 0.1 inch. But anyways, we'll get back in here. Here's what we want to do. And again, every controller can be set similar to this, it's gonna, especially if you have Hunter. It's going to have the same names. It just may not be from an app. It may be from just on your controller. But in a hydrolyzed system, you're going to use the app to change this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit zones down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to hit programs because zones is only going to control the individual zones. And I want to control the entire program. This is an odd numbered address. So currently uh, based at Alachua County, they can water on Wednesdays and Saturdays. That's their two days a week with the restriction uh, watering. However, Wednesday and Saturday has not been enough. You can see if you water Saturday morning, and right now this is running at 4 a.m. If you look right here, you can see start times, 4 a.m., directly under that Wednesday and Saturday highlight. So uh, with it starting at 4 a.m., that means it's probably done by 6.30, and, and it's got to go through all through Saturday, all through Sunday, all through Monday, all through Tuesday before it waters again on Wednesday morning. So basically four full days. Now I know you're saying three days between waterings, but all of Saturday is included in that, which is tough to do. So how can we stay within the rules, but also get more water on the yard? So if I hit edit here, which is this little pencil button, what I can do, I'm going to leave it to, named the main program and hit next. I've got still on my watering days, Wednesday and Saturday, but I can add a start time. Now, what this is going to do for me, you're thinking, well, I don't want to double the water right there at 4 a.m. And you're exactly right. What I would recommend doing is watering again at 9 p.m. on that same day. And you're thinking, okay, well, that 
doesn't help me a lot. It's still got to go through three days, and you're exactly correct. Again, I'm giving you tips on how to stay within the watering restrictions and still get more water on your yard. Uh, if you decide to go outside of the watering restrictions, that's up to you. But if we water at 4 a.m. and 9 p.m. now, what we've effectively done is shorten the time between waterings. But, and effectively is also this, with the high rate of evaporation that we have right now in this dry time, soaking what they call kind of like a soak cycle, soaking the yard in the morning and then re-soaking it close together in the evening is actually better effective for the yard to retain some of that moisture because the, the soil, I could nerd out on this, but the soil can go hydrophobic, which means when you're watering, it's so dry, it's actually not even taking up the water you're giving it. If you're ever feeling like no matter how much you water, it's not taking it up. It's almost like beach sand. Look up hydrophobic soil and you can learn about that. But basically I've added a watering start time to 9 p.m. So shortening the time between, now if I wanted to adjust the time on the zones, I could, that's not necessary in this situation. And then I can hit okay. And basically what I've done now is I'm watering four times per week but still on the two days I'm allowed to water. There's also a restriction for most counties. You can only water um, early in the morning or late in the evening to obviously minimize that evaporation when the sun's out. So that's why I did the 4 a.m. and the 9 p.m. I hope this is helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Link, subscribe, anything we can do to help you, we're here for you. Once again, this is Rusty with the Masters Lawn and Pest. Anything we can help you with, please give us a call at 352 378 lawn or 904 913 lawn. Have a great day and enjoy the lawn.